Welcome to Cocktails with T and the J's. I'm Turquoise, it's my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And today we have three topics we're gonna to discuss. Um, first topic, are women's expectations of a guy realistic? Um, next topic, black males who become upset about black women receiving praise and a cultural appropriation. So let's start off um, with the first topic. There was a video which we posted on our, shared on our page, um, of a lady basically saying that we expect too much from men and how unrealistic those expectations are. Um, I want to say that I disagree. Cause I, I, I mean, you said you watched the whole video I did and then you said that she did mention that it goes both ways. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's really part of life, like don't you want a partner? How can your expectations of someone be unrealistic? Like how, well, are you, how are you asking someone for too much? What I thought she meant was, are you gonna have sex the way he wants you to have sex? Are you gonna have sex as much as he wants you to have sex? Do you guys argue? Do you guys fight? Do you guys disagree, agree? You you know, it takes, I guess that could be for a woman too, though. It and is. Then, it that's is. what she said at the end, though. She that's said, and mm -hmm. vice versa. So she was speaking on, you know, both sides. And I guess she mainly spoke on behalf of the men, though. And that's the only thing that I found wrong with it. Because you're saying, what if you got to be prepared to have sex the way he wants to have sex? I think that's funny how there's always this narrative of if you don't give your man sex when he wants it, then he should have the right to go find it elsewhere, some bull crap like that. When, if you think about it, when it comes to sex and women, majority of women aren't even being satisfied by their partners. <laughs> but they don't go out saying, does that mean she should be able to go out and be like, hey, since I'm not, you know, getting my rocks off when we're together, I should be able to mess with a man that's going to get me I don't off. think they should be able to cheat, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what my point is. So I think that that is, a, is ridiculous. If you decide to be monogamous with somebody, it don't matter if you want it one day and they just not into it, it don't matter what the case may be. If y'all chose to be together and be monogamous, you have to honor that or otherwise be single. If you're the person that like, hey, one person can't satisfy me, you know how I mean, to be, don't, say, don't be with anybody then. Mm -hmm. Just be by yourself and get your booty calls on a regular, you know? I agree with that. Well, I mean, but that's what you, well, not me, but most people want a partner. So how can your expectations be unrealistic? Yeah, it's, I mean, that's what I don't get about it. It's like, because men do that too. Like, uh, men will say they want a girl who's not a hoe or who hasn't been with a lot of men. <laughs> or, uh, or, or if they can, even if dudes that cheat will feel like it's the end of the world if they girl cheats back. Or, that's true. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's, it, they, it's a hypocrisy thing, I think, really. It's some bullshit. It is. It, it's, it's bullshit because. That, that's always the message put out, but then at the same time, y'all giving women the message. Y'all giving women the message that they have to have a low body count, they can't be messing with all of these people who are all giving, also giving women the message that a man is going to find it wherever he can get it. Like, it's basically saying the man's going to be a whore and we should all be okay with that, you know, which is ridiculous. And like I, like I, uh, I mentioned on our previous show, if you are not satisfied, talk with your partner. Yeah. Like what's wrong with communication? Yeah, but and there's ways of just talk, talk talk before you get with a partner because some things yeah, are that, not willing to yeah, do. Yeah, that yeah. too. You know, like when you're dating, sit down and be like, well what do you expect from your from your lady and vice versa? Ask what do you expect from your, your male. You know, yeah, your it can't be it can't so, be one sided. Yeah. But I didn't like she was I didn't like She was pulling video. off but at the end. She said, y'all been on me because I don't say women. And then she said vice versa that go for the no, men too. I hate women who like put so much energy into pleasing these guys. Like don't you have yeah. some kind or of preaching women? Yeah, about it's still drives me insane. Yeah, it does drive me insane. <laughs> that yeah. drives me insane. Y'all too much like y'all mama. <laughs> it does, it really, it does. really drives, it drives me, me insane. insane. It's like you that much on somebody's right. know, nuts. <laughs> Balls, right. penis, that you, all that you, yeah, yeah, that you literally like 
basically talking about put yourself down too. You, you want to basically say let your let a man treat you like a dog just to say you have a man. Girl, or don't you I say it am, all I the time. Never, no, I will never, 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 never. Y'all see it all the time. Cause I be seeing it. That's just, I rather, I, yeah, I'd rather be alone too. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Y'all can have that. All oh, y'all who mm-hmm. agree with that. Y'all can have that. Good luck to you. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Um, okay, so our next topic. I want you to go ahead and read the post that was on Twitter before we go into Okay, things. yeah. So okay. there is a, because since the election, um, the election is Oh, nice. we got to say congratulations, everybody that got out there and voted. Yeah, it was the largest vote, voter turnout ever in yes. the history of America. Remember, first that, t- that was uh, given to Obama. Remember, people yeah. were. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. This election now. But we can out. get out yeah. there and show them that we can vote, you know? So I'm glad for everybody that did vote. I mean, right. to say that because I forgot we haven't been on since. Yeah. But in, there were certain states where um, there were a large number of black women that have been rallying since uh, uh, Stacey Abrams. Atlanta, she led it. Atlanta, Atlanta. Uh, yeah, uh, Atlanta, uh, in Georgia. Georgia. In Georgia, Stacey Abrams had lost the governor, and ever since she lost her bid for governor, now she they had cheated been, her from what she I got, she, Yeah, she did get cheated because they cut like a lot of her districts she off from voting. Republican? No, she's a Democrat. She, uh-huh. she know what they gonna do? Is, what they gonna see? This is the thing. This is what she did since that happened. And she got more people registered to vote. Oh, she got, uh, she got thousands, and then uh, other people took notice in other states and started doing the same thing. This like went over a year of her, mm-hmm. or like two years of her campaign and get people candy, to vote. Because uh, Candy posted a picture with her. Yeah, she mm-hmm. had been rallying to mm-hmm. get people to vote. So because of the large ver- voter turnout in Georgia and all of these places where a lot of black women were trying to get people registered. Media has been like giving a lot of credit to black women. It was like, oh, black women got all of these people out there to vote. Black women are, you know, they're uh, going to be the face forward to progression. They're going to get us where we it's need to go. It's kind of true because most men I know did not vote. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of men that did not vote, but this is what we were wanted to discuss. Black, black, black men, black men, black men, as I say, black men. I'm gonna just say it like that. Well, see, then this goes on to this tweet that we're talking about in regards to uh, Stacey Abrams and all of the black women that did all of that work to get all of them people registered and got them out to vote. Uh, someone on Twitter named mm-hmm. Barrington Martin the second. He tweeted out, I think about how the media is describing black women, making them the end-all, be-all for black progression. Imagine what that does to little boys and how they view themselves in the Boy, world. I. There's something deeply nefarious going on with this narrative. That's stop what he it. tweeted. He needs to stop and get a life because men have been ruling the world forever, getting praised forever. Just because they saying something to a black or Mexican little kids and now women y'all can do you know you can have a voice men have having voice the whole time mm-hmm. what i don't get about this what bothers me really about this particular tweet is that why would that if you see like if i see on the news oh um large record numbers of black men have graduated from college or record I'll numbers of black men, yeah. i would be proud like these are my people i am so happy that this is great news i want to hear great what news about our people like? He's a black man. <laughs> uh, but see, but whenever I noticed this a lot, because remember when that study came out that uh, black women were uh, the uh, fastest growing uh, entrepreneurs and they were the they uh, most too, educated. Right. They were that stat saying that we were the most educated, and it was black guys who like pushed against that. No, they're just most enrolled in college, and all they're getting is college. Because all they want to do like, is sit by and sell drugs. That's why most black men don't get out there and try to get an education. They try but to live off a black woman. You should com- <laughs> you should be happy that they're out there doing good things. Like if I hear a they good living news, off of them. If I hear a good news story about a black yeah. man, a black woman, and I'm always like, that's good news. I don't get true. why whenever black women get any kind of accolades in the media oh. or in the world, <laughs> there are black men that are push, push back against it. Like, how is uh, saying that black women help progression by getting mm-hmm. people out to vote, how is that insulting to little black boys? That it's not because sense to me. they got to remember men 
is President Obama was good for well, yeah, when, when Obama you won, know? black women were rallied behind yeah. him. They weren't, yeah. oh, it should be a woman mm-hmm. first. And you know what was crazy? That. If it was something bad, then it would be, it's black women's fault. Yeah, yeah. you know? If it's something yeah. good, yeah. we can't get no yeah. praise. That's yeah, all right. That's true. We don't like, need well, your son, because you don't have a college education, you have yeah. a college degree. Do, do, do. What about so the when you go to college, all you win, now you're in debt. So it's just a catch too. You damn if you do or don't. Well, you know what? The hell with them. The ones that I saw that not just the couldn't believe it. I'm like, why would that offend you? That you should be happy. That should mm-hmm. bring you joy that we're doing something good. Mm-hmm. Why would you be insulted by well, that? It's almost like it's good as, as competition, right. not a part anybody of the community. Anybody that's insulted by that kind of stuff, they wrong because everybody should just be happy for it. people that's doing good yeah, instead right. of bad. And I'm not for anybody, really. I was just gonna say, I don't care what color you is. Yeah, as long as you do doing good, I'm happy for you. I and like hearing good news stories. I, I did like want to say to Trump, though, he put Lil Wayne up there. He the lost Trump. that. <laughs> oh, he lost that election so fast. <laughs> Did you see how uh, Lil Pump was campaigning for him? Remember how he was on the tour? He brought him up on stage. He, he did called too. Him Lil Pimp. Lil Pimp she didn't even it. vote for him. Who's Lil Pump? Lil Pump, the one who did the video with Kanye so where they had the boxes. All that dumb. The, him. Okay. Girl, but everybody he put Lil up here. Did he vote for Biden? He didn't vote at all. That's what I mean. He by, wasn't even registered. That's what vote. I mean. But he <laughs> wasn't even <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Was on a campaign trail with Trump. Trump tried to use all the ones thinking we was going to fall for it. The only one. Like Lil Wayne, you messed it up for him. I wasn't going to vote for him. Somebody anyway, said it. Lil Pump. Lil, yeah, Lil he, Pump didn't, he didn't even vote for him, though. That's what's that's, crazy. Yeah, that's and you know, and, uh, what's funny is uh, somebody uh, on Twitter said that every time uh, Lil Wayne comes out and, and says anything about Trump, he loses a dread. <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up. Now, I heard you that's wrong, out. you know, that but is, Lil Wayne was wrong for just that being, was funny. he that was just being greedy, blood. yeah, that is cold blood. <laughs> that's funny, though. I, I don't, you know, I can't, I, I don't want to talk about him like that, but he's just <laughs> getting cold. Well, he probably that's, can't help. Yeah. No, you, he's just getting older. You know, your hair thins when you get older. But he only like in his thirties. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but you know what's funny? Yeah, like yeah. in his thirties. But he looks like. But he's also done a lot of drugs and lean and stuff. That oh, makes you lose know. your hair. It makes you age faster. <laughs> Uh, like, cause if you think about what we talking about, I, I can say he getting old, but then I think about it. I just saw Lenny Kravitz on the show. That he's way older than he way look he good. Got thick, uh, he looks good. Yeah, I'm saying too. Like, I don't think me and Lil Wayne is that far apart in age. No, like, no, he was only like 15 when he yeah, came out. Yeah, he came out. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, he was yeah. super young. He was like a like 15, he was a young 16. Guy. He was way older than you. No, he was just a kid when they came out. He's way older than you too. No, he's not that much older than us. We're probably in the same age range. Really. Yeah. But his daughter like 21. He, that's they because had, he had her when yeah. she was like 16. Him and Toya got married when they were teens. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. But another thing I want to say about like the black males, you know they have like the, like how black girls have black girl magic. Don't they have like black, black boy, boy joy? joy. Mm-hmm. So you don't hear nobody talking down and down. They're like, oh, black boy joy and post videos about that. What's wrong? You don't see us hating on that. Right. But right. they, well, women, they not like, women, women are, always p- apply are not, most women aren't haters. Like There's a them. lot of women. There are a lot of women haters. You know what? It's, it's like but a lot I of think, females go for the guys. More than oh, yeah. for that's another a, female. Yeah. Yeah. That's these so new angle. So why are got, no? That's your age group too. Fuck my girl. <laughs> that's you. That's your age group too. Sixty. It is. It is. Somebody, oh ma, yes. Somebody at the age of sixty. Ma, you know that. Ma, you ain't had no no friends that turned out to be haters in your life. That and y'all are on the same. Age. That's why I'm over here. By but I mean, oh. I mean, but don't don't they exist? Yeah, they do. Okay. They indeed do. Yeah. Okay. But it's Way more of these young ones than this old ones. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, well, like no, ten times more. more. Old women, though, are way they more petty just, yeah, than they, the young ones. I don't say oh, that because they have the yeah. best combat, b- comebacks. No, we just have the best comebacks. We are, we they just, are more shady. Yeah, because we like, have the best comebacks. We are more shady. Yeah, because we have the best comebacks. 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 I don't. <laughs> you have no filter with me. I don't just walk up to people and start going off. <laughs> they have to no. do something like walk in front of me while they see me walking. Yeah, I start going off and that shit's rude. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Hold your tongue true. for nobody. Yeah, that's, I mean, some people are just so damn rude. You gotta let them know, hey, that's, that's rude. 
Yeah. Okay. I also wanted to talk about something to you, Nisa, in the car today about culture appropriation. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't really mean like the hairstyles and stuff like that that black women wear, um, but I do find it hypocritical. Funny, yeah, and hypocritical that you have a lot of black girls that try to be like Chinese, call themselves they like the dog. Black. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then you have uh, girls, well, even uh, um, white women too, how they wear like the Indian clothes, the, the, the yep. Chinese clothes, all that kind of stuff. So how come it's okay, or not okay, if like a white girl wears French braids and that's the whole issue, but then we can dress in like kimonos and chopsticks in our hair and think it's fine. That's also culture appropriation. I agree with that. Yeah, I, I agree I, with I that. I wonder, you know, like, it is, also like about the well, hair. You see how Cardi B got in trouble for uh, cultural appropriation for Hinduism. She really? did I a, didn't see a, that. Um, or like a song cover where she's doing like the Buddhist arms. Oh, I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, she got in, uh, a lot of pushback for that. But I thought about because me and they watched something, the girl's name is China something, and I was just thinking like, it's crazy because even Nicki Minaj, yeah, when she, she, she came wanna out, be yeah. Everybody thought she was half Asian when yeah, she came out, yeah. but she's not. And but I don't see how they could from the she way looked she looked like it. Kind of like she, she got Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, like the Chinese. Oh, parents. okay. Because she looks way different from the ones I first seen. She, she do look like not, she should have stayed looking like chocolate kind. Uh, really are you saying she had plastic surgery? Speaking of chocolate kind, to make herself look like a Barbie, yes. You saying she did? She don't look like a Barbie. No. You saying Nikki didn't no, have nothing I'm, there? Yeah, she had a oh, horse. Oh, because I'm like, in my I just like the, I just like the shade. Oh. Oh, she don't like a Barbie, though. She she looks like a black Barbie. <laughs> well, with, with a shade. You know they're <laughs> making them Barbies with <laughs> a shade now. Barbies are like but, six. Uh-uh. Look well, at them Barbies that's bad, bad. They got them, you know, like they, they have got the, the real Barbies where they're like they got, real, shaped like real women. Right. Yeah. And then they got the the, the afro. Yes. I mean, they so She's cool. got the one in yeah. the wheelchair, too. Yeah. yeah. I used to have a doll in And the then the wheelchair. one with the leg, the, uh, the prosthetic. Oh, yeah. 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 And then, uh, I actually yeah. think that's great that Barbies I like that. I, yeah. I think that's great. It mm -hmm. should have diverse things. It should have, They do, but a long time ago when you was young, you used to have a Barbie in the wheelchair. That's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. All I got were the sticks. Who's that? Leland? Natural order. Natural order. Is he referring to? I'm always saying Leland. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, natural order. Uh, that was about the clothes and stuff like that. I don't know. That was probably about something else we said. Probably about the uh, why they take offense to when black women get. Praise, why is it offensive? Well, whatever you're talking about, Leland, let me know. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, let us know. know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I find, I definitely find that very hypocritical. It is. And I was just thinking, I said, I said, you know what, damn, we are, we are a crazy group of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We really are. Yeah. Like, you better not do, can nobody else do anything, but we can do everything. Mm hmm I agree with that. That's why I don't see how that's okay. Anybody yeah, gonna tell me nothing? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Don't tell me nothing. Hey, I ain't gonna say nothing to you. That's just super wild. There, there are people who condemn black women for keeping perms and weave, accuse them of imitating white women. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, there were tangent laws. There's a history of our hair being di discriminated. I mean, they just passed laws in multiple states saying that you can't. Uh, ban natural black hair. <laughs> I, know that. I probably would have kept my natural hair. You know what I mean? In Florida, like, I didn't never know that. Listen, I wear weaves. I don't perm my hair. Cause I, and you know what? People probably don't really get to see enough of my natural, but I have very long, yeah. thick hair. Very long, long Like, if you see my daughter, them chemicals yeah, too long. you see my daughter <laughs> yeah. hair, it's not that long, but it, it's Pretty long, yeah. It's pretty long. Um, but I, I do, cause it's, it's, I wear weave and I do wear some wigs because it protects my natural hair. It's, it's a struggle maintaining thick hair. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. You sweat, then it poofs up, and 
without the chemicals, it is it is it's more work. But now they so, got the kind of the stuff for natural hair, like your braids. You braid it up with the lotion and stuff, and then when you take it out, I saw organic products. Oh, it's yeah. so yeah. it's so pretty. But nobody better not say nothing to. I ain't trying to imitate no other nationality, no other ethnicity. But you, I'm like, I don't see how your hairstyle can determine your skin color, though. That that right. doesn't make any sense to me. But then another thing is like, as people always talk about how tough black hair is and how forcey hair is, is we actually have the most sensitive hair it has to be treated with extreme care mm -hmm. and it has to that's why we say protective styles people say well, how do you need to protect your hair i'm like if we're living in a cold climate that's not good for our hair it dries mm -hmm. out and breaks up so we have to keep it moist that's why it's better to have it braided yeah. where you can keep it moist and you'll wear things like weaves or wigs or yeah. something like that well, because i can say my hair has made a lot of i never well when i was younger i had yeah you had hair but I, I did perm my hair a lot get a relaxer a lot but now it's, it's fuller it's healthier yeah i did the big chop and i haven't permed my hair or anything and mm -hmm. it's, it's growing fast and steady yeah, and, and my, even it feels like my my curl pattern even changed it don't it's not like how i remember it it's probably soft like it used to be when we were younger because you haven't put no chemicals on yeah, it's, it's way better to not use all of those chemicals. That's why I think a lot of women do. Thank you, Justin, <laughs> that you do have natural long hair. It's like we show it off. <laughs> it's, a, it's very hard to maintain, but, but I probably will. You know. she, she let it come out the box sometime where she's having her little flat iron and have it all show all over. Then she's like, okay, next week, back to the red. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, again, it, it's difficult to maintain. It is. It really is. That's why I prefer to just wear braids. Mm. You know, I mean, eventually I'll have my hair out again and all of that, but I like to keep it in braids because I don't have to worry about One thing it. about y'all, you must know, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody. Oh, not trying to prove, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you don't, I'm not saying well, we have to prove anything. Has, speaking of Justin, his, they have nice, very nice Oh, yeah, his yeah, sister, the, uh, oh, the, yeah. the bonnet, yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, I used to. I remember when they were kids. I, yeah, I, I used to love playing her hair too. She had my hair too. Her hair reminds me of hers. She has very, very beautiful hair. Oh, they are sitting on like uh, y'all better hurry up. My computer is on. Uh, we're, not we're not done, done yet. <coughs> we're not done yet. But I do want to say though, um, going back to the first topic, because um, you know, we've been with. What's yeah, Lily, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think it's um, hypocritical to see if you read this last like, comment. I do think it's like saying about women, white women wearing things oh, yeah. nuts and cornrows. I really, I don't care what white women do with their hair. I, I do think, if they're gonna be trying to call our stuff nappy and blah blah. Only thing I think that, trying to copy. I just want to no, know. No, I think what the problem is that a lot of people have, and I've seen this in the media. When they wear black hairstyles, it's considered fashionable, nice, yeah. trendy, mm -hmm. when, but they call it ghetto. And black people like uh, when. Uh, when uh what's her name the Zendaya? yes Zendaya. when she had her she had her dreads she wore dreads to a red carpet event and the news reporter said she looked like she smelled like weed and patchouli Ooh. oil and then a white girl the same reporter reported on a white girl i can't remember it was some model she a white girl model who had dreads and said oh it was kendall jenner she had like dreads for a fashion show and she was like, oh, this is just so edgy and trendy. That's what pisses black women off, not the fact that white women wear black hairstyles. It's the fact that we get ridiculed while they get shine for, for imitating yeah. the same hairstyles we wear. But it's just like and with us wearing weeds and wigs, we get ridiculed for that too. Even though we get our hairstyles banned in certain establish establishments and stuff like that. But they can wear any hair they want, and they're always going to get compliments. Whereas we get all of the ridicule, no matter what we do. You know um, what? Oh, sorry. I ain't got nothing to say. It's going to be bad, so go ahead. But what I was going to say is, I actually, just thinking back, I received more compliments on my hair from white women than yeah, I, I do, do too. black, I black do females. Too. Probably it's nothing new to them, you know, like, you right. know, used to seeing, like, like they ain't but occupier. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I can say that. So it, it could just be like the, um, they admire. You know, mm -hmm. same thing with like I was saying earlier about how we carry the other touch. ethnicity. That's the only thing. Look, don't touch. And I don't think mm -hmm. there's anything wrong with appreciating another culture. You can 
very well participate in uh, appreciating another culture. But you have to understand when you're going too far. But you have to understand far. when you're going too far, yeah. I think that a lot of times, a lot of black musicians in particular go mm -hmm. too far with the appropriation. I, I agree, totally agree with you. Yeah. And then also, I always got to bring up race, I don't know why, because I, I really love all people. But having a, a mixed child also does not give you the right, whether it is, you know, that your child is mixed with, with well, black whatever, black. Yeah. yeah, whatever. It does not give you a pass to, for you to act like you're that, that ethnicity of your child. You know what I mean? Like, if, you, if you're a black woman who has a child with a white man, Hispanic man, whatever, you can appreciate the, their culture and, and you know, don't try to act like that you're not, you. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that doesn't give you a pass to act like you're part of that group. Mm -hmm. Because if I catch you, I'm going to tell you, hey! Because that's kind of also not. the thing that irritates me that I would say ties into culture appropriation is just because, oh, I'm dating a black man, and so this gives me a pass. And they be trying or to my child say this nigga. Yeah, or my child yeah. is mixed, so it's like, I understand your struggle. You know, stuff like that. It's like you, you really don't understand don't. anything. Because you're looking in the eyes from someone else. And you're you know still on I mean? the outside looking at yeah. it. And then yeah. even a mix, Not kid, saying, no I, matter you know, what the race, they get treated better than the little all black kids, no matter if they, you know. Well, that has to do with colorism. But you know what? Well, I'm just saying all of it's bull crap. What I'm hearing lately, like um, some people actually said they're treated uh, bad. Like, well, Giselle from Potomac Housewives, she's not mixed, but she said that because of her skin color. Yeah, that's how she was. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, they didn't like her. Um, but you know what Giselle might be Giselle like she is now. Giselle yeah. pretty rough. She got a lot to say about, about, about everybody. Yeah, when when I was about that girl not claiming being black. Uh -huh. Okay. But and then it was somebody else too. Giselle kind of rough. What was it, Ari? Um, that's mixed. No, oh, the girl from uh, uh, the that one girl from that show, the girl that she was Daisy's friend, the one who died was like High Hills and something. Blood, sweat, and hills. Blood, sweat, and hills. Uh, uh, what was her name? Micah. I think her name was Micah. How she looks white, but she's actually both of her parents are black, just they're light skin. Mm -hmm. And she said nobody believed she was black, so she said you can just believe whatever you want to yeah. believe. Sometimes you just yeah. gotta because it that just shows in our community. There's colorism all around. Miss like, Williams had that problem when she won Miss America too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's like okay, you're high yellow, so you're not really black. Oh, you know, uh, well, you're too dark. I prefer the light. You know, it's just it's, it's always something. It's, it's always, it's, it's, it's always yeah. something. But at the end of the day, we all people. <laughs> we all black. <laughs> we all bleed the same. I don't know. Red, well, blue and red, huh? Red I feel like though some mixed kids, I think they get it from both ends though. Like yeah, too, that's what I was you're, saying. You're too yeah. black for the white family, and you're too white for the well, black family. Well, they better family. not. If I, well, I ain't, well, if I do got any mixed grandkids, they better leave mine alone. Cause I'll come. You don't know if you got mixed grandkids? I don't have. <laughs> you don't know if you have any. I, I just haven't met them yet. I don't know. <laughs> what, watch one day, one day, I'm here like, hey, I got a ten year old. They never told me about mom. <laughs> Well, Marcy, yeah, you could consider Marcel mixed. See? Yeah, yeah. So she do got a mixed grandchild. Now, grandchild, she always like, Marcy, I gotta get them every week. But Man. he is so rough. You can get a show invite. Okay, oh, I know that. Invite? I know that y'all uh, are hiatus right, right, right now. Yeah. Um, we actually want to do something with the smartest dumb people. We had talked with Anthony. Yeah, we talked to Anthony. And we had um, decided that we we're going to do a joint show. Um, so hopefully you all are doing good. Yeah, we can make that happen very soon. Yeah. But y'all, y'all welcome. You know, as long as y'all healthy. Uh, uh, yeah, we just want everybody to be happy and healthy. We hope y'all doing good. I, I can't wait for the next smartest dumb people show. Love the show. I'm going to have to... Um, watch it <laughs> i watch it every week i try to support. i'm gonna be honest uh, okay honest moment i don't watch it all, all the time i'll be asleep <laughs> she works hard in the daytime she gets very tired at night yeah she's i'm surprised she's up right now the night's yeah. coming early now night's day. yeah it goes yeah five o'clock yeah. so, like how the heck is one hour make it dark at five I don't have a oh my god <laughs> That's driving me nuts. I'm like, hey, it used to get dark at like 9 p.m. You move time back an hour and it gets dark at 5? 
Oh, I do want to talk about something too because we did a show last week and we had a little disagreement, so I did delete it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we were talking about like crabs in a barrel, um, basically. So when you see someone who who's doing pretty well and you try to Better bring them down, you. yeah, you try to bring them down. Um, do you guys like? Yeah, I hate that people don't. I love seeing other people succeed. Anybody, well, well, I love kind seeing of other talking people about succeed. what I was saying. I don't like the way black people do other black people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, we do. I, I, we I kind mean, of hard on each other. Well, you know what? I just think it's some bull crap. I think we should just be happy that at least mm -hmm. we got a good job. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then maybe if we treat each other right now, then stop asking for free stuff. Yeah, stop asking something for wrong yes, with yes, something. You yes. bring it back after you left. It should be a thing. Sometimes they do mess up, mm -hmm. but I think some, most of the time it be the people that's getting the food. Because if you bite it and eat half of that, it, yeah, that's crazy. If, if it's nasty, you should have just bit it and. Put the, I would have took it back out of my mouth and put it back in here and took it back and said it was no good. I wouldn't have ate, eat half of something and then take it back and say something wrong with it. Maybe you like, know, I know it don't you taste always, that bad. I take another bite. But didn't you Not always know it doesn't taste so, that bad? Yeah. Okay. Well, one people you don't want to go off on are the people that make you your food. You don't know what they're going to do to your Even food. Even though most people won't do anything but to you the just food, but I know. just wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, you just never know. You're you not used to do that, kitchen. Mom, but you don't anymore. But you know what? So I bet off. you I would go off and get my money back. I wouldn't go off and ask for more food. No, but I'm saying like when people are, if someone doesn't understand the drive through like you would go off or get a little smart. Oh, the people at Burger King about them tacos, they knew mom very well. They had the stuff like from here. It was nice to me though. Yeah, this is the taco lady. Give me tacos, bro. And that one place kept them just for you. All of the other places had yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so do you guys think that is more um, so like the slave mentality? Absolutely. I, I think so. You know what? I don't think it is. Because I don't know nothing about slavery. So no, this, they, okay, this is what it is. This is what it is. There's they a doctor. They don't even know. But no, there's a doctor. Her name is Dr. DeJoy. I can't remember what her last name is, but she did a, a study. It's called post-traumatic slave syndrome. And you know, what happened is after slavery, all of these people who have been beaten, tortured, they have PTSD. They have been through some horrible things. They never got treatment or therapy or anything for it. So these people with PTSD are raising people with their symptoms of PTSD. Mm -hmm. So these kids are growing so up thinking that these actions are normal, like they're being hit, yeah, raised by people that have outbursts of anger, people that are yelling and screaming and cursing all the time, people that just have crazy mood swings. Mm -hmm. And what did they grow up to do? Have those same characteristics. Mm -hmm. I think that is very true. Mm -hmm. I don't think all, because I don't feel like I have certain characteristics of my parents. You definitely no. don't have any of me. That's a bad <laughs> Oh no, she does. She does. She, she does. Like, I don't no, like nothing like, like me. Turkey. Lately you've been going off on people the same way mama would. <laughs> Lately you've been going off on people. But Turkey, you are very more calm than say mom is. Like daddy is kind of calm. That is kind of calm. Yeah, She's I guess really I'm, calm. I guess I am like that. Yeah. Ain't nothing mm -hmm. like it. Not like mm -mm, I, I don't I, I didn't mean, I've been sixty years tortured. I can't take no more. <laughs> I think when you get to a certain age, you just don't give a flying whatever. Yeah. You know, you gonna say how but you feel. And I'm not really polite it. though well, until somebody does something. Do you to think me. that you raised us with the mindset mm -hmm. that Granny had? No, I don't. Even though our upbringing that you had. No, I don't because for the simple fact, if if. Uh, there was no food. I would be the one not to eat. I would feed my kids first. So Granny didn't feed you? No, she fed us. They never was in the situation probably like that. No, she fed us and stuff. It's just she whooped me for stupid stuff. I don't think I... Did you ever get a whooping? I don't when think I got hit by did. a car, I yeah. got a whooping. But why? Because I got hit by a car. Because I told you not to go down that damn driveway. I mean, <laughs> that's the only time you got one, right? No. We got whoopings from doing being bad, like us being bad. She got whooped for hitting that camera. <laughs> no, she didn't. Did, did, no, she didn't. Did. Uh, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. All I did was turn it off. All I did was turn it off. No, no, no. Oh, 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 no, no,
no, I think no. if I could honestly say I didn't get as many whoopings as the rest I of us. I could honestly say how many whoopings did you one. get? I got some whoopings. For what, Macy? I remember I got a whooping for an answer. I'm making your car roll backwards. Both of y'all was in there. Both of y'all. I, I was not. I was All outside of the car. He rolled backwards and hit somebody else. I was car. outside of the car. And then one time y'all rolled it backwards and it bit my door back. That was me. That, that was hurt me. Okay, okay, so you, you didn't whoop them for that. Not, 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 uh, yeah, because we were in the parking lot of the projects, but with them, we was it was in the back of the drive through <laughs> like the door like landed on the house, so it stopped the car from going all the way down the I drive. I can say that I only got that one whooping. I wasn't beat, tortured, or nothing. Mm hmm. No, no, like it wasn't bad, my like it's not like you beat us up. My mom was a great mother. No, thank you. Fantastic. I know I, I, I ain't all that bad. I can whoop you all the time. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna ask you this. Do you, are you, do you think that you're raising? Elijah, the way Mama raised us, or do you think that you have a more aggressive approach with Elijah? What, what's your? Well, I would you want to have more. If I had an aggressive approach with Elijah, he wouldn't talk to me the way he does. But no, I think I'm a lot. I think I'm way too lenient on him. I don't think Mom would put up with what I put up with from Elijah. Like you wouldn't put up with what I put up with from Do Maurice or Antoine. Like the way he talks to me and stuff. Mama has pulled out her uh, hatchet for way less. <laughs> that was on the mail, man. We forgot about that. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I think I'm way more lenient on Elijah. Sometimes I wish I was as tough as I don't as know, but I know if I had three kids or a son before it got dark, that trash would have been in that front yard. Like <laughs> I told him two hours ago. Elijah, please take off the trash. <laughs> okay, uh, let me answer her question. You think you're raising Javea the way that you raised? I would say um, no. You say no. I say no because I didn't get you everything you asked me for. I didn't get none of my kids. And we had to share a lot of stuff. Man, and well, you know what? Right? We're young, and it was five of y'all. But I don't. But I don't ever recall a time where we really went without anything. No, we were happy kids. Yeah. I'm not saying we yeah. didn't want it for anything. It's just. But bro, I wouldn't have never. Like, we, I would, even if I had one, I wouldn't be treating them as good as you like, did. Like, right? you, you go above and beyond what she wants. But like, you, know you give what? her it's everything not she only, wants. Mama wouldn't have been able to afford getting us everything we wanted. It's not only materialistic things. It's like the values that you instill in them. So do you think that you're providing Elijah with adequate values of how to be the best that you can do raising him as to be a man it's yeah i think i'm doing the best that i can do but you know it's like that you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink i can only tell him how i feel and what i would like from him he show don't be drinking uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, uh, i can only tell him and That's show right. him I'm you know the right path he has, to, <laughs> he has to walk the path i can't force him to walk down that road he has yeah. to make the decision to do it um i think that I'm very blessed. My daughter is not argumentative. She, she's really good. Yeah, she is. She's really great. She's and I good. see a lot of... My son is good. It's just that yeah. he's got I'm a not mouth. He's not. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's please. Good, a he's mouth, a mouth is bad. But he, he does have a mouth. Like, he, he, he talk, can't talk back. But other than that, he's a good kid. Like, he literally said to me, uh, okay, because we ordered the snack crate and it had a... He gave me a gummy, right? And my nails is wet. So he gave it to me out the pack, like holding it out, and I grabbed it. He's like, "Damn, your breath is hot." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" My <laughs> breath is okay. The you know, but yeah, he likes to roast. He likes to roast people. I think yeah. that's the Johnson in him. They like to roast yeah, people. Cause daddy cause daddy is, yeah, because daddy is daddy like to roast people. Do like to roast Antoine roasts people. Antoine roasts like Antoine's the king of the roast. <laughs> yeah. He is. Antoine's really funny. Yeah. When he ain't doing them damn drugs. Oh, Leland asked, can women raise men? Absolutely, women can raise men. We they have done it. it they women have done it plenty of times. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't really matter 
who raises you, it's what you choose to do with, mm -hmm. with the information. Because you can have both parents and yes. still yes. end up still, in jail, like, dead, or something like that. Like, there are plenty matter. of kids that are raised, like if you, especially if you have siblings, there are, are siblings. One sibling can be a, a millionaire and the other one can be a crackhead. Mm -hmm. it, it has nothing to do with their parents or how their parents raise them. Because all five of my kids are different. Yeah, all, yeah, all yeah, of us. We are. All of us. All five of y'all have your own different personalities, and y'all all was raised by me. This one, I'm like, go for a second. But it's um, really still going. Yeah, I'm like, what's going on? With what did we say? You probably is. said black too too many times. Maybe. Okay, we look like we back. But um, yeah, I, women can definitely raise men. They've done it just like a man can raise a woman. A man can raise a daughter on his own. What do they feel about the two the men raising a kid and the? To women raising kids. Oh yeah. I mean because that's that's happening now. You yeah, know, I mean, two guys is raising kids. Two, two women, women yeah, is raising true. them. Yeah, that's I true. mean, it doesn't matter. Our diverse it's, it's, families. Very I think diverse it's, families. it's them knowing right from wrong because that's all you can do is teach a kid, yeah, and yeah. then they choose. I'm exactly right I'm a, or I'm gonna do wrong. wrong. Exactly. That's exactly it. And I think honestly, and I hate to say it, I think sometimes women can raise a, a young man to be a man better than a man can raise a man. Because, you know, they look at, well, it's not all, but some guys may look at their son as, like, competition or, you know, like a, a, a enemy. Or think they're supposed to be beat all the yeah, time. And they yeah, yeah. Or as a mom, be it's more nurturing and no, you know, it's still great value. So I I think a woman can absolutely I, raise a definitely. man. Definitely. Yeah, well, because they're doing, doing it. it. I mean, they do it. I didn't have to raise three. all mine, you know, by myself because, you know, Andy was there for Marius to do. But I did. Y'all three, y'all. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. Yeah, we tried. We tried. We tried. We do the best we can with the information provided. You know, okay, uh, Leland, since you asked that, do you think that single fathers can raise daughters? On their own, mm -hmm. or do they have to have a woman around? Mm -hmm. I mean, which they gonna have a woman around no matter what, cause they stink. They like, oh, I need somebody to comb my baby hair instead of them trying to comb it their own self. They but then they, oh, there's always people around. like with me, even though like I don't really have help from Elijah's father, but he has men in his life. He has my brothers. He has my my father. He has men in his life, so it's not like he's just surrounded by nothing but femininity. He he gets to be around men, so and I think they help. They contribute a lot with help shaping him be a man. He has a lot of uh, male cousins. A lot of male cousins. He yeah. he's surrounded by men, so I don't think he's missing out on the male experience. Because and you know what? Me. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. His father was in his life at a point in time, and he hated it. He did. He hated it. He his hated father, it. He like I said, though, he did him. He didn't do him right. He think because he a boy, he's mm -hmm. supposed to hit him, punch him in the chest, stuff like that. Just because it's a boy, you ain't supposed to do that. That can also you know? have a very negative effect. Yeah. He was traumatized for a yes. very long time after that. But after hanging around me, he ain't traumatized. No. More. Now he petty. He be looking. <laughs> Now he made it, he became we said how he how, act like a sixty year old man like how are you always in pain and sad and just angry at the world you're only fourteen years old <laughs> but yeah we'll have to if if we don't know answer tonight we'll probably leave that for our group discussion we get to talk with them since he brought that up yeah. Yeah, Leland, I want, I, I need that answer, bro. Because <laughs> you know what? I think it would be very difficult. Not saying it's impossible, but females, we, there's a lot. I know, I know a couple of men that raised, I don't know how they turned out because I don't live out there no more, but I know a couple of men that were taking care of their kids. Without, right. yeah, without people. Yeah. They'll have props just like with the, uh, girls in their menstrual cycles mm -hmm. and things like that. Boys, they have that stinky period. They're sticky. Everything is gross. So it'll it's gonna happen whether you have boys or girls. You're gonna have to worry about that stuff. Do you all think a two-parent household is important? You think it's necessary? I, I think it, it's no. a good thing, but if it doesn't happen, I don't think that's a bad thing for the kid. I don't think that that makes the child less of a 
whole person. You know what I mean? Because there are orphans that don't have any parents at all that and lost their parents to be and they grew up to be great people. Mm -hmm. Even though they were treated bad. Even though, yeah, because a lot of them in foster homes where they had no parents, they got abused mm -hmm. in those foster homes. They get abused by adoptive parents. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these kids still come out being great members of society. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I don't think that the narrative that if you don't have a father or if you don't have a mother that that somehow means you're going to be a bad person or something is wrong with you. Another question. Do you think, since we were on a uh, subject of women raising young men and vice versa, do you think that that will have an effect on males or females if basically their um, sexuality no. Why do you think being raised by just no. your mom have you? No, because I could tell you for a fact, if I could choose to be anything, I damn sure wouldn't choose to be straight. I think it's, it's just natural, you know, like, uh, you remember when you knew you were straight? I was probably like five years old. Like, I remember when Van knew she liked the boys. She went up in that classroom. She saw that little boy. She was <laughs> like, Woo, he's cute. And that was kind of like what happened with me when I was a kindergarten. I saw a little boy that I thought was cute. I was like, wow, he's cute. And I knew that I liked the boys. I, my mom didn't tell me like my like boys. My dad didn't tell me. I just saw a boy that I thought was attractive and I just knew I liked the boys. I think it happens naturally like that. Do you think it does? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was sitting here and they said no attention. You know, some people say, uh, like, Okay, this boy is gay because his mom raised him. No, I you know she. Was, no, I don't think raised by that a makes mom. a difference. No, I don't. Think. No, I don't think a single mom. It doesn't matter if they're gonna be that way. They're gonna be that way. That's all about thing. Leland says. I think men being exposed to the emotional side of women is extremely harmful. Harmful. Well, I can tell you one thing. I think that men are way more emotional you know than what? women. And I, I, I'm not even trying to put my siblings on blast, but me and my sister, we're way. We are. Tough. Our I brothers are our emotional. Our, brothers. our <laughs> brothers are emotional and very emotional. Yeah. And we are level-headed. We're like, nope, let's let's relax. Turkey has a calm down thing where she gets people to calm down because she works with clients that are, you know, mentally challenged. So she has to get them to calm down their emotions. We aren't really. I think we suppress it. We more. suppress it. Yeah, yeah, we're really good at like bottling it up. And you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna take my step back here. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll have outbursts from time to time. We're human beings, but. I don't think that women are overly emotional than men from what I've seen. Now, I ain't trying to be funny. Yeah. Some women more mentally than men. Yeah, no. yeah. And, and a lot of people would say that, hey, Leland and them, they discussed it on the show, uh, yeah, show the some, women some that are women. masculine. Yeah. There are women that act more manly than some men. Remember when Dad said that? He said, uh, we he said, said hey, mama needed to talk to a man. She said, he was talking to a man, talking to your mama. <laughs> We are talking to a man. We I'm are strong like because we have literally the world against us, it seems. You know? Mm -hmm. So I, I definitely don't think that's true. I think we're true. definitely resilient. I don't think that's true. And I don't think that um, everyone has emotions. So when people say that and, women and, and raise boys should be over emotional, no I person, don't agree a man with that. that cries like that <laughs> don't mean he is not a man. You know yeah, what I mean? I, mean, I think it's normal. emotional. I don't think that. Matters, you know, because if you a man, you may cry, but you might not cry as much. I also think that it's not right to say that it's because they were raised by a woman that they're they have certain emotions. Because some people are just emotional, and some people aren't. Some people are nonchalant and don't really care to react to stuff. Some people just brush everything off, like you have that good like you brush she things off. Like even if you're wanting to get upset, you don't. You just walk away. Whereas some people like, no, I have to say something right then and there. I have to make my point. I have to get my point across. Some people are like that, but that could be man or woman. And I don't think that has to do with you being raised by a mom that's emotional or anything like that. I just think some people are emotional. Like Antoine is very emotional. He's he very is. passionate. Like he when he is. explains things, he does it to the point where it sounds like he's screaming at you. He is. It, 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 well, yeah. He's like, I'm not screaming. I'm just very passionate. I'm like, well, you're, you're, you better you're passion all stuff <laughs> down, man. Passionate, damn. Yeah, so I don't. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's any one thing you can blame for 
somebody being emotional, whether they're a man or a woman. I just mm -hmm. think people have this different personality. Some people are going to be emotional. Some people are going to be not so much. Some people are a good balance of both. You know, I think I'm a good balance of both because I can go off. You can go off. I can girl. go off when I want to, but I like the, also have my times where I'm just mm -hmm. like. It ain't worth it. There is no, it's not worth it. I, I don't want to put my energy into it, and I will walk away from it. Oh, I put all my energy yeah. into it. Yeah, you know, you know my Hey, I'm like that other person walk away. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> definitely, definitely no. I'm going to quit one day. When, when I'm dead. dead. She said, I'm going to quit one day when I'm dead. <laughs> well, anyways, that's a good talk, ladies. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you all our second friend yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we got you the whole probably thing. zoned out. No, I think uh, zoned out for a minute. I really do. I want to say thank you, Leland, and thank you, Justin, for coming and interacting yes. with hey, us. Hey, dude's up in the house. Hey, dude, I didn't even see him up there. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude, I did not call you emotional. <laughs> no, I said uh, uh, we have brothers. I didn't say which brothers. I said we have brothers that are very emotional. I didn't say which brothers. Well, you just told on yourself. I have three of them. It could be any of them. <laughs> now the dudes in the house, we got to stay longer. I'm no, 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 we're good. We're oh. good. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We appreciate it. That's one. Yeah, he a little bit of both. Yeah, no, I think he's yeah, definitely he, emotional. Antoine, he talked to me. Well, since you on, we was discussing about our shows, um, doing a joint show like we discussed when you Everything's back to normal with you, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll call you. We'll call you. But um, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. You said go the hour. I don't even know, know how long we've been on. Eight minutes. Ah! Eight so minutes. minutes. Oh, we got eight minutes, so we need to talk for. <laughs> what you want to talk about, Anthony? Y'all got anything y'all want us to discuss while y'all on here? go the hour I don't know I mean because I pretty much we got a lot in there oh the election is finally over yeah Biden won Woo -hoo. but uh but Trump refuses to concede he said I am not conceding you know they should make him and since he don't want to concede they should throw him out of that office See, yeah, early yeah dude exactly Antoine is emotional that's what I'm saying <laughs> that's what I'm saying That's a male trait. Uh, there are a lot of jealous men. A That's lot. A male I think guys trait. are more jealous than women. Yeah. If it, like the post we were talking about, with the man said he didn't like the idea of them giving black women credit for like the turnout. When he know damn well he didn't. That vote. sounds like jealousy. Like he's mm -hmm. trying to compete. That that's a jealousy trait. And so, men are getting praised all along. Women don't do they that. Know, I also say even in relationships, guys seem to be more jealous than them. Like you can't go out with your friends. Yeah, or why is this guy liking your 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 post? Yes, yeah. Who's this, this guy well, liking your pictures? Here. Yeah. You know. Okay. He had a few of those jealous boyfriends. So, and that's why I ain't got him no more. <laughs> ah, when you stop, you go ahead on here. Yeah, see, dude agrees. He said men are way more emotional. They are. <laughs> men yeah. are very emotional. They really are. They hold a, a lot. Maybe they it's take because everything to offense. They, yeah, I think. After holding it in for so long, maybe from their younger years when they get older, they're just Please. like, and none of my kids people. held anything. In. It's just like none of my kids Therapy held anything. Be off. I think I I hold a lot of stuff. In. You not do. towards you though. I no, just, just in general. general you yeah. Do. Um, I got that. Out. That's therapy can help anyone out with that. <laughs> we always say you'd be another year, four years of overt racism. Well, one of them was gonna win. It Wait a minute, another four years? Uh uh. Of a, overt racism. No. I think he's saying that it would be racism either way. Which this, there's always gonna think be so. racism. Racism because you got a. Uh, it's racism. I can't pronounce her name. Right, it's racism. 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 Right, yeah, no. you got her up in there. She ain't gonna let it be too they, bad. They, they don't like her. They think she locked up black. Who cares what they like? That's why he didn't win. But I, I, I think, think it's she, funny she though. locked up black. Men That's what if they do a crime. They, they, got they, they a crime. She most of the cases she that she prosecutes. Those, those people should be in jail. I don't care.
Right. Even if they black white, you know. Right. Yeah, I'm giving them to the time. Right. Shit, I did my little time and I didn't even do no crime. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they put me in jail sure, for being black. But I'm, I'm sure she didn't go around just locking up black men because they're black. No, you know, she did, they she did. She had a case. But you know, that's what another thing that. Black men have a problem. Now, see, that's another problem they have. Because why do they care? They should be happy that she's up in there. Instead, they talking about what she did to them. What did them white people do to you? You know what I mean? Quit blaming everybody for all your little things. I'm like, because I said white people. Talking about white people and stuff. I like white people, though. I like all people. I like yeah, all I mean, them. I'm just saying, yeah. if that's I don't, bad, I don't black believe. people do that. Black guys. And we scrambled again. Yeah, but it's <laughs> <was bad. laughs> they spoke them like us talking about race. We gotta stop. I love all people. I love all people. I really do. I do. I can't talk about race. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'll be so talking about race. race. Okay. <laughs> I'm quiet. <laughs> I'm quiet for the next four minutes. <laughs> oh gosh. But Don't yeah. let me stop y'all from talking. No, we ain't. Let's see. I, I, I know, we, I we always you. get scrambled when I start yeah. talking. I'm like, nah, I don't want to get scrambled again. But anyway. It ain't y'all. As long as I'm quiet, y'all can have a conversation. It's me. <laughs> yeah, y'all got to link up and do a show with us. Yeah, because me and Leland have debated on the phone multiple times before I get, get him in front of me. He won't be able to run away. <laughs> I'm just joking. You know, the law was one sided. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me hold on. I'm sorry, I'm going down. Now, for some reason, we try to get through for some, some of the reason comments. the comments are like out of order. Yeah. Um. So knew the law was one sided. If you, if they knew the law was one sided, why would you even go out and do something bad? That? That's going to get you arrested, knowing that the law is one sided. You, you should think, okay, if I steal this car and I'm a black man, I'm, I'm going to jail for 50 years instead yeah, of 10. Versus, yeah, so why do the crime? Yeah. Although, but, hey, she, one thing I can say about the old school people, if they did the crime, they did the time without Except lying. for OJ. OJ did not do the time. He didn't do <laughs> no crime. <laughs> he killed that woman. He didn't kill her. Everybody knows he did. 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 This is how I was done. If they were to try to frame him, maybe they could have caught him for real. But they were so busy throwing gloves here, putting this here. That's why he got off. Because they was racist. Trying to frame him. That's how he got off. Oh, yeah, he ain't black. He OJ. Yeah. Okay. He blesses <laughs> my phone. Okay. <laughs> but that's black. the thing, though. Like, just like, you know, having a job. You know, you if you keep calling in, you keep calling in, what's going to happen? You don't when get when you get fired, you can't be like, oh, it was one sided because I'm black and I, you know, did it. But no. I called in 20 times yeah. and I've only been there 30 yeah. days. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so you have to, you literally have to think before doing something especially if you know it's wrong yeah you know what i mean like i know robbing a store will be wrong so why would i go in the store and rob it and then if you think about it like now with all of these rappers that have been getting killed and shot like you oh, see terrible. like uh even little boosie just got shot in the leg like when he went to the memorial for one of the rappers that got killed got shot in the leg mm. if they if, if men especially black men if y'all out here doing this kind of stuff to each other you can't expect the law to have lenience on you. They think that we're a bunch of animals out here because look at what's happening. You got these people that are even celebrities out here shooting each other and getting killed over some bull. That's sad. Like that, that, it looks bad on us. So these people that have shot all of these people, you think they're going to be, oh, let's not lock him up or let's not uh, give them a lot of time. No, they're going to throw the book at these people. They're going to throw the book at these people. And then, uh, honestly, too, if it was your family member that was murdered, Right, you know, Harm any, any way yeah, you don't want the person just to be prosecuted to the you know, fullest you extent. You know what's crazy is you can't be out there protesting for people, you know what I mean, but then don't want the law to do what they're supposed to do. Right, that doesn't make any sense. Right, right. Just because we, we want don't the want law to, see, to do what they supposed to do, we tired yeah, of the law doing what, what they ain't do. supposed yeah. to do. Like yeah. kill us. I know that, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying because he he mentioned the law being one I'm side. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's not. It's, I mean, I do think it's wrong that say really don't give a black person <laughs> a, a, a longer sentence. 
for a crime that a white person commit. I do think that's wrong. But knowing that, that's more reason to be more careful mm -hmm. in how you go about it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do this yeah. kind of stuff. Don't like get so mad at a person that you feel you have to shoot them. Don't get so emotional. This is we were talking about men not being emotional. Isn't that emotional to shoot somebody because he done pissed you off? Mm -hmm. That's emotional. You don't see women doing that a lot. Women do do stuff, but women don't do that a lot. We, we might get into a scuffle here and there, but once the fight is over, it's over. We're not trying to kill each other because we don't like each other. Oh, this man got a nice car. Boom, let me go shoot him. Yeah, oh, like, you you know, know, like, it's it's car, car, yeah. Yeah. Like, like Nipsey Hussle out doing really good for the mm. community and look how he, you know, he mm. lost his life mm. by the hands of what? What about oh, all the man. school church, uh, church shootings? Well, them yeah. ain't even us. Those aren't us, but that's and if different. And say who they is, we're going to get scrambled. That's a heck of a lot different. <laughs> you went wrong, you fired her <laughs> But that's a heck of a lot different from, like, me just not liking somebody personally, somebody that you mm -hmm. interacted with, and you just don't like them, and I'm going to take a gun, and I'm going to shoot up your house, or I'm going to shoot up your car if I see you on the street and kill you just because I don't like you. Mm -hmm. That's crazy as heck. I mean, shooters, that people that shoot up churches, those people are following these huge groups that say, hey, these people are horrible. That's why they pick certain ch churches. That's why they go to mosques. That's why they go to black churches. That has to do with white supremacy and stuff like that when they do things like that. You're about to get yeah, scrambled. Yeah, I'm about to get scrambled, but anyway, that's what it is. What does that have to do with, knowing this is going on, they can come up in a black church and shoot up a whole bunch of black people, but there are two black people in that church that are willing to shoot each other up yes. because they don't like each other. Yeah, it's like, you know, the whole thing with the siblings, I can pick up my son, but you, you better yeah, not, you exactly. know, it's, it's all ridiculous. It is all ridiculous. It's all unholy. <laughs> No, this whole world is unholy. Oh my gosh, well, we went past the hour, y'all. This whole world is unholy. This episode, it was a good show. Thank everybody for tuning in. Um, we'll we'll see probably go sit here actually for a little longer and talk without the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do that a lot. <laughs> like, I appreciate you, um, dude, Leland, yeah, thank Justin, you, thank you all. all. Justin, thank really you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Have Thank a great you. night, everybody. Bye. bye. She said bye, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not stopping. We don't went on so long, they don't want us to stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Do the danger kill. Did you turn it stop or off? Oh. Do I have to get up and go over there? Let's exit out of it.